Greetings to my team of 144, all starseeds, levokas, and wayshowers. It is 925-2019. Energy waves coming in today again, very intense. The Schumann was a poppin'. We'll cover that a little bit later. This change is accelerating, these great changes, these great shifts. The acceleration of manifestation is speeding up. So kick back, chill out, visualize what you want the new earth to look like, feel like, what you want to see, experience, what brings you the most joy, the most bliss, the most happiness. Focus on that and see it manifest. Whatever you're confronted with, see the solution, see the resolution, see all things being resolved in that pure mind of infinite light, infinite life, infinite bliss from the heart center as we walk our path with heart, Divine One. Today's transmission from Laura Pleiadian, being present has nothing to do with time. Being present is a state of consciousness that has nothing to do with time. Being present in the now moment is the eternal flow of pure being that knows itself only as that. What is related to time and is not yet consciously hooked up fully to the eternal as holy union is karma and its deeply entrenched energy responses held as memory in the subconscious mind, in the blueprint, and in the cellular consciousness DNA. This may be referred to as garbage held onto, preparing itself for recycling. This is what takes place through reincarnation. One may consciously begin to enter the path of recycling this garbage, baggage carried over lifetime to lifetime, through being honest with oneself, through observing all thoughts and actions, through facing those areas of fear within one's consciousness, through uniting with the observer and releasing attachment to the one immersed in tra drama, fear, pain, and separation, in other words, releasing attachment to the one who wants to hold on to the garbage. One continues on this path of integrating the observer by relinquishing all resistance to facing this truth. That is to say, you allow all to be witnessed through the observer, no matter what the resistant self has to say about it. Because like a loving parent to yourself, you know that all that is great for you eternally may not always be what feels like fun to the attachment and resistance being called out and observed. So what aspect of consciousness are you playing out, you may ask yourself, and which voice answers? In those dark recesses of the hidden lay beautiful gems of light. When opened without resistance or attachment, you find the treasure. As this openness and acceptance of what is, that one is afraid to see, is seen through the eyes of the observer, melts it into love. Recycling energy is once the garbage of limitation and heavy weight being carried around, becomes the crown of glory. Who knew? And here we are. We activate you now in love as the holy guardian angel embraces its presence, so too the embodiment of glory is inescapable to all that see. In love, Laura Pleiadian. Now today from Elizabeth Peru, the 5D New Earth and Self-Love. It seems to me that as we become ever more immersed with the fifth dimensional frequency on earth, that the need to love who we are as we are is becoming an exceptional call. Self-love as a concept is nothing new, but self-love that carries with it self-responsibility, now that is of the highest order. If you're taking your frustrations or seeming inadequacies out on others, stop. Consider that you're actually sending that energy back to yourself as an aware, conscious being of light. You know better, so act that way. The next 24 hours, cosmic energy shift. Have you noticed that all your work, growth, and lessons of the past four weeks, since the second super new moon of 2019, are now bearing fruit? 2019 may have seemed challenging thus far, but with good reason. We're in full prep mode for 2020. And our maturity will be a necessity. Over the coming 24 hours, there is a positive way to handle this. Last Friday, I reported that Earth's resonant heartbeat, the Schumann resonance, shot up to 99 hertz. We're narrowly cycling at 100 hertz now, compared to the base level of 7.83 hertz. This coincided with 
the Fridays for Future rallies all across the globe as millions of souls came together for Earth's future. This is a true outcropping and direct reflection of the new Earth 5D energy template now well underway. This Friday, with further rallies, we can see the resonance soar high again, given that this weekend is also the final super new moon for 2019. As electrical beings of light see the evidence right in front of us, that when we come together as one, with heartfelt intent, we can shift Earth and the entire cosmos onto a positive wave. As we move into October, your visionary powers are going to be on fire. Let's use them wisely. From ElizabethPeru.com Today, the Dream Spell Journey by Balloon Votan and Balonik. Day 10, Manifest Challenge. 9252019 Kin 75 Blue Planetary Eagle. The mantra for the day, I perfect in order to create. Producing mind, I seal the output of vision. With the planetary tone of manifestation, I am guided by the power of abundance. I am a polar kin. I extend the blue galactic spectrum. And this is especially for the blue waves listening right now that are out in the field anchoring the highest code, the highest grid, the blue ray, the blue wave, the blue light, the blue vortex. So thank you for joining me today as we transition into these new moon energies coming up over the weekend. Let us know how you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you're experiencing what visions you are having for the new earth manifestation. We are all in this together. We are lifting each other through our heart center, through our love, our light, our truth, as we transmit out into the ends of the realm, the ends of this field, through the sacred portals, through the vortexes. We connect to all love workers, light workers, throughout the grid, throughout the ley lines of Gaia, as we anchor in our highest light, our highest codes, our highest love, into the portal, into the sacred space that you are now residing in and resonating in as we rise and raise our frequencies, our ascension energies with all life and all realms, all timelines as we merge all together in the here and now, in the present moment through the heart center. I'd like to also thank the light workers that are joining us on this mission for the Healing Retreat Center and sustainable community in Ecuador. We are raising funds for this mission through a CBD business. You can join us at cbdpeaceoil.com. We'll put the link in the description below. I have been very busy over the last few weeks. I'm moving my business, also teaching every day, the Divine 44, also working, many things going on. So many, I've been receiving many emails, messages. I know that the time is at hand. I'm trying to keep up. I'm backed up a couple of weeks. Many people are sending me their phone number to call them. I have no free time right now. Things should be getting a little less hectic in the next couple of weeks. So I'm trying to keep up, trying to catch up. So if you sent me an email, if you're trying to contact me, I'm not ignoring you. But I'm backed up a couple of weeks. So it may be several weeks before I can get back to you. My focus 100% is on training the team, the Divine 44 team. For this ascension mission to uplift all life, all consciousness in this realm, all realms, all timelines. So all my chi, all my life force, all my energy is going into this mission to transmit, to teach, to train, and to connect through the field, through this whole realm, the Divine 44, to assist all love workers, light workers on this great mission, the Omega mission, the final mission to, of the ascension into 5D and beyond into the eternal, the eternal life, the eternal light, the eternal truth. So thank you all. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. Namaste.